All right, guys, so we're going to be working on this uh, 250, I think. No, 160 gigabyte old Seagate drive. So to show you what it does, I'm just going to connect it to a power supply and uh, let you listen for yourself. So it makes these sounds and um, with the drive being as old as it is, I don't really know what they're tied up to, but uh, the most logical thing would be to test, um, to have a look at what the head assembly looks like. Could be due to contamination. On these older drives, I do remember when they were more common, uh, often enough cleaning heads was a right way to go about it or head replacement if you want to go, go that route but I recall cleaning them would be working just fine okay so this drive does not have um, external parking ram so the head assembly is parking on the disc which is not an uncommon situation for uh, older units like that uh, first thing to test is to have a look at the filter. Fibers look really clean on the filter. The filter is not contaminated, so the heads are not grinding. So that's not a contact sound between the head and the platter. Um, what else can it be? Well, in order to find out, we have to take the head assembly off the device entirely and have it inspected underneath the scope. drive is making these noises I don't have an exact um, match for this guy right so this model is ST 31 6 and this one is uh, ST 31 12 uh, the boards also are slightly different um, this board has EP-ROM and this one does not but would it be a better call to wash the original heads and uh, launch them in the unit once again I'm gonna try to wash them because I think that is the reason why are they, they're make, making these jittering sounds and uh, if that doesn't work we gotta um, pseudo donor um, option to uh, fall back on so let's not lose hope and let's stay optimistic I can clearly see the mark that is on the head zero you know and if I can see it I want to make sure that you guys can see it too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see it's got some stuff in there. too much light uh, right there I really do see it in the scope
Okay, let's move on to the next one. I want to wash them all just so that uh, just so that we don't have to do it again after if it's necessary. Here we have our main selection of utilities and um, we just need to connect the drive to appropriate channel. In our case it's going to be channel 2 that um, had been switched. To a parallel ATA. Get the cables. These are the cables. Uh, this is our drive. We need to connect the terminal. terminal we need some USB cables these are really good gold plated with ferrites for clean signal so this is a USB um, uh, terminal version 3 very fast okay now it is connected. Power up. No more noises. And as you can see, the registry right there just became ready. Even if we run automatic requests for ID, it selects the proper utility right away. Um, terminal gonna select that As you can see the ID is the all set so let's go back now we're gonna enter the data extractor and the data extractor we're gonna create a new task it's important to know what heads are in use with that information, we can track and monitor the performance as, of such heads and to see if they have uh, any inconsistencies or if they need to be disabled for the time being, uh, while other good remaining heads can do the deed and extract the data from them. Because once the data is read, it gets transferred sector by sector onto the target drive. We don't have to come back to the already extracted information. I'm going to build head map and in here it's going to ask for two um, two ways of uh, how we'd like to
create LBA to CHS translation. The drive is doing really good and currently already at 33% mark. I think to image that drive would have taken less than to build a head map for it. So uh, yeah, I think uh, this is going to be a really good story and the client should be totally happy with the result. If you guys are here because uh, one of your hard drives died, uh, check out the description box. There are contact details for a company and it can help you out with that. Um, for those of you who follow this channel, I thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, I hope you liked this episode. This has uh, been something new. I started playing around with different options and I think this is going to be the format I'm going to be going with further. Um, if you have any uh, specific questions regarding this case, feel free to ask. Uh, all the comments drop in the comments below. And I want to thank you once again for sticking around and commenting, subscribing, liking this channel. Thank you guys very much. See you next time.